Today we're going to do another exercise for our chest. This one's going to be an incline push-up. So the idea of this exercise is to work the upper chest muscles. Um, with this one, you need uh, something to do your push-up against. So um, I'm going to use the bench here today. What you can use is a chair, again, or, or a couch, but probably a chair is best. Put the chair against a wall so it's not going to move. Because the last thing you want to do is go down to do your, um, your, your bench press and bang, the chair goes and then you're flat on your face. So um, make sure that you take into account the safety by pushing whatever it is that you're using up against the wall so it's not going to move. Okay, I'm going to show you now how to do it. All right, so what we've got, this is, this is my chair, the bench. What we're going to do is put our hands on the bench. What I suggest with this one is that you actually wrap your thumb underneath what it is that you're using, just for a little bit of extra safety in case your hands slip off like that. So um, I want you to put your thumbs underneath. Now, you would set yourself up the same way as you did for your flat bench press and the decline one. So I come up ideally on your toes, but I'll walk you through how to do it on your knees as well. So once again, you can see that I'm nice and flat and I'm going to lower my chest down to the bench. Hold, push straight back up. Hold, push straight up. So what I'm doing, I'm touching the bench, but I'm not, I'm not resting on it. Okay, hold, push straight back up. Now what I don't want to see is this kind of thing, where you're, you know, you're really arched right up here like this and you're just coming down with your head basically. You've got to stay nice and flat and making sure that your chest is lowering to your chair. Hold and back up and that's it. Now, um, if you can't do it on your toes, what I want you to do is to do it on your knees. So what you would do there, same thing, hands are in the same position. This time, so I suggest taking your feet off the ground, your toes off the ground and just coming in, hold and come back up. Now, this one's easier, obviously, than the, the, um, the one on your toes because you're not using your whole body weight. But it's small steps. You, you work from this one and then you build up to the other one once you're strong enough. The point is, it doesn't matter which one you're doing, your technique is the same. You'll see that I'm pausing and straight back up again. So, in terms of the number of repetitions, there again, we're working in the range of 10 to 15. Work within your own limits. Um, the stronger you're feeling, increase the amount of pause that you've got between each exercise. Um, great exercises for the chest again. Now, next video, we're going to be working our middle back. Now, with our middle back, um, the exercises I'm going to show you, we're going to be using the resistance band. So hopefully by now you've got your resistance band. If you don't have your resistance band, then you can use some dumbbells, um, but the resistance band works quite well for these. So stay watching out for this next video.